What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out 17 minutes of WWE most savage moments. We're gonna go down memory lane. I, I wanted to kind of check out a video that takes us back down memory lane of some of WWE's savage moments, man. It's always a good time when you got people going back and forth on the promo and they're trying to set up a feud or a match and they get real disrespectful that's what makes wrestling fun when you can get a little bit personal with the disrespect and it makes for iconic moments iconic feuds and sometimes iconic matches so we're gonna go down memory lane let's go down it together appreciate all the love and support y'all shown on the channel let's get right into it man for today's video we're taking a look at some of wwe's most savage moments be sure to like comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on more wrestling content Look what we got. Is this what you send out? Where's Snow White and the rest of the seven dwarves? When we went out in public, <laughs> people thought you were my mother. Nikki Bella won't be the only woman to drop you this year. I got kids too, man. Let's talk about <laughs> your kids. I don't give a You're shit about, about your, your kids. kids. Classic. I've been running with Gallows and Anderson 10 years before you knew that Kurt Angle was your dad. I know you do consider yourself to be the queen of hardcore. But unfortunately, movies don't quite count. <laughs> Live TV, you throw out the rock? All right, y'all. Uh, I was having some headphone difficulties, but I should be back in the mix now. Let's get into it. No wonder WCW went out of business. Because of me, Dean Ambrose is now a stay-at-home husband living off his wife's paycheck. Oh. <laughs> to work I mean, come on. <laughs> what are you gonna do i'm gonna be universal champion because i will i will such a good feud bro oh my god people don't talk about this kevin owens versus roman reigns feud this was so fun so damn fun and the fact this nigga roman just turned the screen off so disrespectful bro. be the last man i want my damn dog lucy loves me why would you want the dog in the first place isn't one bitch in the house enough oh you know what? what i want with your wife charmel this is i want to have bro. sex with your wife just wild why don't bro. you act like this is an aa meeting and you shut your mouth while i'm sharing with the group classic sweetheart you're the daughter of rick flair if it wasn't for a one night stand you probably want to be standing here. Kurt Angle's going south. Forget your mouthpiece. I put my piece in your mouth. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, no. Look, I don't have any Classic. toilet paper. But I have the next best thing to toilet paper. Here, go ahead and blow your nose. He just signed. <laughs> All right. Back at it again. More headphone problems. <laughs> the contract with WWE. That means I own that son of a bitch. Do you have to ask permission from your father-in-law first? Not anymore. RKO, yep. Yep, here, give me that. Mm. Everyone deserves a friend, even a narcissistic, self absorbed bitch like you. <laughs> Just tell The Rock, don't do anything stupid. This coming from a man who took a sacred vow of marriage to the biggest slut in the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> ah, sick. My tag team division is full. Uh, we've seen this. But one. I hear the TNA is hiring. Us. Unless you plan on getting naked and dancing <laughs> with this <laughs> Then I suggest you take a hike. Nice hair. Damn. Damn. Here, <laughs> yeah, brother, put that on, man. You got that. Cold winter night, Roman Reigns will keep your wife warm. Roman Reigns is a happily married man. But I'm not. We're looking at hey, what yo. <laughs> if a homeless jack banged an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> you are the guy of Chisai King Tama. Yeah. Psyching it sound, that sounds very positive. What is that like awesome? The guy with tiny balls. Why do you despise me so? Huh? Is it because I can get on all the rides at Disneyland and you can't? <laughs> and listen, so and, and then, then you go and you stun Shane three times thinking that that was an embarrassment. <laughs> Are you going to shut her up or am I going to have to do it? <laughs> Fucking love Stone Cold. He's like, are you gonna shut it up or am I gonna have to do it, man? <laughs> shut up, woman. That's that's basically what Stone Cold was on. <laughs> when I heard that the most dominant player in NBA history was guest hosting Raw, I automatically assumed it was Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace, Kobe. Oh, this. Well, you ain't got one because your wife divorced Ooh. you and took your kids and they don't want to see you. 
bitch ass anymore. If I wanted to main event the Royal Rumble with a megastar, I would have chose your, your wife. wife. Mm. I hate dogs. I don't hate dogs. I love dogs. No, you hate dog cats. Dog. I love cats. I don't hate You hate cocks. I love cocks. <laughs> Gonna take it's care good. of that <laughs> smelly, greasy, nasty. Classic one right here too. Your entire family would have been better off if you hadn't survived that crash. And I'm gonna get that shit. This is when they were feuding uh, Kevin Owens and uh, Shane, and recently he did. You know, around that time he had that plane crash or whatnot. And bruh, that shit was kind of cold, bro. I was like, oh my god. Oh my Get you god. Too, Rhino. Such a You're not even good savage segment. For your husband, Seth freaking Rollins. <laughs> the only reason he married you is because he knocked you up. <laughs> I'm about oh to wipe god. this mat with the ring general and then make you my bitch. This is the solo we want to see more of. I mean, we're starting to see it. And he's starting to, you know, get into that vibe. But I want to see more of this. So I've seen another clip of him. You know, he seemed a lot more. Well, I don't know if it's, he was more confident in NXT or they didn't really give him much of a chance on the main roster. I think now they're giving him, uh, you know, more of a chance to really hone in on that persona. Get more comfortable as being, you know, a heel that can somewhat talk. He ain't got to be the best talker, but to be able to hold his own like that was pretty cool. I fucks with that. I like that. You know? So hopefully we see more of that going forward, which I think we will. I'm rocking with that. Let me tell you something, brother. And, you know, you rip the shirt. You <laughs> Not Hulk rip. Hogan. <laughs> That's pretty much what Hulk Hogan did at the Trump, uh, I think, Trump uh, uh, situation. When he was at rally, he was at, he, he pretty much did the same thing that The Rock just did. Shit funny. Can you fast forward to that, please? There's only one game in this business, and I'm married to him. Oh! You don't want to be with Rusev anymore. You said he was big, he was hairy, he smelled like rotten testicles. Talk about your obsession with Dean Ambrose. Oh. After all, you're the man. One with him. Yeah, you're sleeping with him. That shit was cold. You dress up as a stupid idiot. But they didn't have any more Jericho costumes, man. I would RKO my own grandmother so if wild. it meant keeping this title. Benoit, all so you wild. Prove things. Kane, since you just want to. Find things. You go ahead and find the penis Benoit claims he has. And Sammy, <laughs> I'll see you whenever you manage to dig your balls out of Roman's pocket. Like a little flower. This was this was good too, man. This is early in the the whole Sammy Zayn saga with the bloodline. So take me back, man. It was so fun. I'd have to say that little Steffi baby lost her flower a long time ago. <laughs> Don't do them ropes unless you want to get hit in the mouth again. Especially in front of your wife and kids. Oh! Marry me, AJ! Because, AJ, I like them young, dumb, uninhibited, and ambitious. We could not. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. I forgot that was even a thing. Hey, yo. <laughs> the big dog let his bitches off the leash, so. <laughs> here you Maybe it's not. Bad luck that Don has. Maybe. Maybe it's a bad father. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's your mistake. You forgot Jason Jordan. For years, uh, Kurt kind of forgot about him too. <laughs> no actress. One of the best. Gotta wake up next to this and act like she's not repulsed. The only door you ever knocked down was the door to John Cena's bedroom. Cold. I'll even drop down to your level, right? So good, such that good heel work. Retrieve your balls from Stephanie's purse. <laughs> There's only one man in your marriage, and that's Becky, bro. Come to the bedroom. The game always came up a little bit. Yeah, he had to probably sure. change oh the the. It was short. The, the skit. Maybe it was not, that the. Fe not the skit, but you know, he had to obviously change it for copyright reasons. You know, adjust it and stuff like that. So. But this is a classic one, too, when Triple H and Stephanie were feuding back and forth, just, you know, being disrespectful. The field I was playing on was just too damn big. Even a 747 mm -hmm. looks small when you're flying it into the Grand Canyon. Cody were his favorite son. This but Roman is, this Reigns so was good. the son, son. 
he always, always wanted. wanted. Oh, wow. you're just going to have to wait. Death waits for no, no one. one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Choose to have 14 of these and wake up in jail. That is if you're fortunate enough to wake up at all. Drink responsibly. Bro, is it because your daddy so didn't give you enough attention when you were a kid? Speech, I have to say you're also the biggest slut of the century. <laughs> Shane, your roll, know it. Triple H, your mouth, shut it. it. Vince, your llama's anus, lick it. Stick it, <laughs> your dirty panties, <laughs> it. I'm, I'm this generation's Eddie Guerrero. Oh, you're the generation gosh. of um, James Ellsworth. He's actually whiter than me, but he thinks he's black. <laughs> Are you really the next big thing? Or the, the next, next big, big bitch. bitch. Classic. Oh my God. Legend killer. I'm a legend. Come try me. You are a legend? <laughs> Look, I got boots older than you. At SummerSlam. And then, uh, you know, Randy proceeds to do what he does. Kill legends. I don't... Obviously, I think that gimmick is past its, you know, its prime. It was cool that he did bring it back during that, uh, during like the pandemic era. I thought that shit was actually pretty cool to see that again. It was, it was tough. It was tough, man. That's why I'm looking forward to this Randy and Cody feud. Man, that shit's gonna fucking cook, bro. Oh. I'm gonna make you my bitch. Yeah. You ain't nothing. nothing. Five feet, nothing. nothing. <laughs> His cell phone's going off. Cow. Hey, it's nothing. nothing. He says, he says he knows, he knows you. you. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hugh Morris, you suck. Better yet, you should try some deodorant once in a while. I don't need words like respect, uh -oh. loyalty to trend worldwide. Just like I don't need my notes for my promo on my wrist. <laughs> Bro, I was just talking about this, man. This, people didn't realize how much of this was a, uh, this was more so between them. Like, listen to the reaction. Listen to the reaction. You should try some deodorant once in a while. I don't need words like respect and loyalty to trend worldwide. Just like I don't need my notes for my promo on my wrist. You go like, it got some ooze, but people didn't really... Some people didn't understand what he was talking about or referencing. It got some ooze, but then the, once you figured out what he was talking about and The Rock was using promos on his wrist to kind of remember certain things, then it was like... Oh, this was more between them just to try to spice it up. And The Rock was fucking pissed. But if, it, if there was anybody that could pull that off, it was going to be John Cena because he wasn't going to get in that much trouble. So. Go ahead. You keep on kissing babies and hugging fat girls. <laughs> That's funny, bro. <laughs> Who is your favorite WWE superstar? Roman Reigns. <laughs> You are that entertaining when you still wear llama penises strapped to your head. What? You think you are? Rock, Bravo Bull, great one, people's champ, and all undisputed champion. Yeah. So shut, shut up, up, bitch. bitch. <laughs> Put that thing at me. <laughs> what <are> you? <laughs> Ronda Rousey, I call Not gonna you do it. the single biggest bitch I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo! What is this American saying? Cold fish. You are like a cold fish. And you, it is like kissing the string post over there. Talent is not. It's crazy how things ended up with them in their relationship. It sucks, but you know, we never know, so it's none of our business, but it's crazy how things played out with them. Sexually transmitted. Wayne. I would offer to have you step inside this ring. I would hate for your little boy to watch his own father fail. It's to experience that every time you step on a football pitch. This Damn. is what a world championship looks like. Hell, Johnny Idiot Face over there is never going to bring you a title. <laughs> How does it make you feel? He was right. It doesn't matter, matter how, how it, it makes you, you feel. feel. Who it is you had in mind for his opponents. Tell you, Rock. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's the red bandana wearing grease wrap. Was the Rock in the match? Yes. 
Are you a man with no testicles? Yeah. No. No. Hey, no. Little thing, you're looking like a blind nun. Right, hey, do me a favor and park the rock's truck. Yes. <laughs> yes, you have no testicles. No. No, you have no testicles. When you look in the mirror, how do you have any respect at all? Right here, right now. And this is, ah, uh, bro. That 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 Kevin Owens feud with the McMahons, they had something, bro. If y'all remember when that boy Kevin Owens legitimately busted open fucking Vince McMahon, bro, with the headbutt stuff, right? That shit crazy. Now that you can't tell the Usos apart from each other. Okay, check it out. He's the right hand man. Yeah. This one right here, he's nothing but a little bitch. Right? <laughs> they all, all like, like your boy Xavier, Xavier Woods. Woods. A major itch, so enjoy your fruity pebbles, you yabba dabba bitch. They won whether it was that Jamaican accent and those oh. dreadlocks, or oh. whether it was that phony power of positivity. Oh, what this is, is so your good. Name? I told it, it should have been better. It should have been better. They were for me, the feud had everything of the makings of being something great. It's just. And I hope they don't do this with Cody too. But it's like sometimes it's okay for the baby face to show real anger and emotions. You ain't gotta always be positive. It's okay to be serious when this person was a very integral part of why potentially you didn't reach the mountaintop sooner. It's okay to do that. That's the only thing I really wanted, Dave. He was still trying to be super positive and stuff. No, Randy Orton. We know what happened with the Randy Orton shit. That's not even like it's it's common knowledge what happened with him and Kofi early when he was getting pushed. And how he got deep he got derailed because of, you know, what Randy had said and things had happened. So it's like I just wish he was a little bit more serious in that particular feud. It doesn't matter what your name is. I eat pieces of crap like you for breakfast. Wait, back up a minute there. Did you say you eat pieces of crap for breakfast? <laughs> Look like Whoopi and how you say you 5'5", five five, but you really 5'3". We'll talk about that later. <laughs> how you say it in Hollywood is, and action. Oh! You were absolutely nothing till your wife put you on Total Divas. <laughs> You were the devil's favorite demon right now. What the devil's favorite, favorite dumbass? I thought that <laughs> oh, night we had a special. I forgot. <laughs> I don't know. I had my own thing. Devil's favorite uh, bitch. <laughs> I used you. Oh. You are <laughs> pathetic. And I sure as hell went inside with your egotistical, tyrannical, idiotic wife. Friends, oh. We gotta go to China. We gotta go to Russia. But don't worry. We get in trouble. We could use Stephen the man's breast as a flotation device. <laughs> you are living human. Breathing piece of trash. <laughs> heaven. Yeah, this one right here. This is wild. Eddie's down there in hell. Come on, T. Hair done by Whoopi Shaming Man. Still a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> if you keep running your mouth, she's going to play jump rope with your fallopian tubes. Look at this. It's the giant sleeping shopopotamus. These creatures are enormous. Soaping. Oh. But they smell good grief. They smell like kangaroo crocs. Remember I showed you how to do the Wisconsin wheelbarrow? You got a hell of a woman here. She's flexible as all hell. You're going to have a great marriage. Happy birthday that, to Steph. That's so ironic. <laughs> Y'all going to have a great marriage. Ah, uh, damn. Foreshadowing. You're a hoe with big breasts. That big time Bex? It's really just a big time The Rock can hear the wedding song now. Here comes a test. And the hoe with the enormous breath. <laughs> and if your last name wasn't McMahon, you would be a complete nobody. Rock must Bro. say you. Now that version of Randy was so good, man. You are looking quite gigantic. Your brother, that's obvious. You open it and you say things before engaging your brain. I see. Two spoiled, ungrateful little rich bitches. Get the hell Get out of my way and stay out. Close <laughs> your mouth. You get the breath of a thousand asses. And The Rock also knows if anybody knows anything about screwing, it's, it's you. you. <laughs> you can't see me, bro. You can't see your own penis. I could get half as much support. As that push-up bra gives those big funny, funny <laughs> The winner of the match gets five minutes with your wife. 
Because quite frankly, everybody's already had that. <laughs> Consider me like a drug test, homie. This one right here. You ain't getting past me. Duh. It doesn't matter. matter. What your name is. <laughs> You're going to SummerSlam? What are you going to be there for? What, does somebody need to park their car outside the building? <laughs> the wrong Uso quit. Oh. That was tough, bro. That that was tough. Oh. For one, that one. Oh, this. This. Man, I know I keep stopping it, but we got to talk about just how good their first interaction was when they they didn't even have to throw hands. It was just Roman was just so condescending and disrespectful. Have you ever won that one? Do you have you ever actually main evented a WrestleMania? Like, oh, bro, so that first go around was very entertaining, like just promo wise. I think obviously the second go around, the Rock was heavily involved, so it kind of changed things for the better. But that first go around, so good. You ever even competed for one of these? Strength and power to just bitch and moan and feel sorry for yourself. Then proceeded to wall up your candy bum all over for a lot of remind you of something. You ain't nothing. You ain't you nothing. <laughs> Turn that some bitch sideways and stick it straight up your candy ass. Knock, knock. Okay, Brock. Who's this there? This is wild, bro. Bobby. Bobby who? Exactly. That shit stupid. was cold. You sound. Do you realize how stupid, stupid you, you look? look? Yeah, I can see him. I'm staring at him right now. Oh, no. He's, uh, he's pretty pale. Canadians have no class. That's why they can kiss the people's ass. Um, Steph, are you right or left-handed? I'm a righty. Why? Oh, I was just wondering, because I still want you to be able to sign my checks after I, I uh... Here we've got the dumbest lineup in the history of celebrity. <laughs> Find out, Dom, if you are half the man that your father is. I've been competing in Royal Rumble matches since before you hit puberty. Doesn't that just mean you're old? Old? Perry Saturn, the rock's gift to you. The rock knows that you've got one eye that goes that way and another <laughs> eye that goes that way. So the rock will slap that crooked eye straight. And by the way, Kofi, how'd that little Kofi mania thing work out for you anyway? I'll uh, team with you as long as the rock can get that Olympic goof to know his role and, and shut, shut his, his mouth. mouth. You wouldn't be in power if it wasn't for Vince McMahon's Johnson. At SummerSlam. I'm gonna make you my seven year bitch. What you truly are a no good lying. <laughs> you don't see Becky Lynch walking around here holding a pair of testicles, do you? Did I get a high five on that? Hell no, I give oh. you a slap in the teeth. How about oh, that? <laughs> but if I did, they'd be a whole lot bigger than yours. So that makes you a deadbeat mom. You better yeah. sit down because you're too stupid to understand. What is your name? The disrespect. It doesn't matter what your name is. Who would have ever thought the man with 24 inch pythons would have half inch testicles? <laughs> <laughs> you think? Yeah, that's exactly. it doesn't, doesn't matter, matter what you think. You think. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, this was a good video just to go back down memory lane, man. Seeing some of the newer ones, the older ones, classic ones, man. It's, it's always good to just just watch some good like back and forth on the promos on the microphone people just you know being disrespectful sending the jabs i'm all for it man comment down below your favorite savage moment from this video appreciate all the love support y'all showing on channel road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace